Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Mega Man 8. In the last video we took down Astro Man, and so now we're gonna go after the next Robot Master, this guy. Also, another state, another great stage theme coming up. Ready. Also, I love the background. The background is like one of my most favorite things about this stage. I totally forgot I still had the laser shot on, even though I just recorded the last episode. Ow, oh, shit. I also love the swim mechanic. It is, it does kind of like give you mobility, which is nice. Ow. Also, I love these little shell enemies. They're really cool. I love that laser shot, am I right? Now we're pretty much swimming up against the current. Ow. Going up a current with no paddle, as they say. Make sure you mind the spikes. Ow. God damn it, I'm just getting hit by everything. Yeah, try and do yeah, try and block that one. You couldn't. Alright, now it's time for the mid-boss. God, that was fast. This guy can be a pain a bit of a pain in the ass. I will admit. Well, I don't know what his actual name is, but... Basically, we're following down an infinite waterfall, practically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, whenever he's facing you sideways, he'll try and punch the uh, platform you're on and try and punch you. But normally, if you just jump or just be falling right, right when he does it, then it's really easy to dodge. Also, and if he's... And if he's coming at you from above, he'll drop a bomb from his head. Okay, that one could have hurt me, but it didn't. Yeah, the hitbox, yeah, the hitbox for that little punch of his is really weird. Also, a bit of a rainbow here. Now, we also get a very important rush power-up, but I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, just kind of like challenge, challenge just kind of like cripple myself so to speak but basically we just got rush medic is what I call it and what it does is that uh, for about like 20 seconds rush will just drop will just fly back and forth on the screen drop nothing but health and weapon energy okay so all right now you guys see that cracked ceiling right above us here's what we want to do we're gonna switch to Astro Crush and then break it open god I love Astro Crush so much I don't have an energy balancer, so I can't really... Ah, shit. Ah! Alright. <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, I'm sorry about that. Just a little bit of a thing. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise this water, because there's actually two paths we can take. We can only take this second path right here if we raise the water. And speaking of multiple paths, I think I might go ahead and make this a uh, all bolts run of the game. Which, to be honest, I don't think I've ever done that. I think I'm pretty sure like I found like a good majority of them, but I think I missed like one or two. Like most of the time, every time I play this game, keep Astro Crush refilled. Also, we got some falls here. I'm probably gonna screw this up. But there's a lot of these bombs we can jump on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be careful because, like, missing a bolt right here is really easy because I know there's, like, a bolt around here somewhere. Here it is. Like, see, that's easily missable. Oh, shit. Ow. Ah! 
At least they gave me health. Oh, and a life. Yes. Lucky! But yeah, you guys just saw Astro Crush in action. It's a complete screen wipe. It's literally one of the best weapons ever made in Mega Man history. You cannot beat Astro Crush. I don't care what anybody says. I know Black Hole Bomb is good, but it ain't got nothing on fucking asteroids coming down from space to obliterate everything. Fine. You wanna be like that? I'll just do this then. I'll pierce that damn shield if you want me to so hard. Alright. Now, I'm probably gonna die. And if I do, it's no big deal. But let's switch to Astro Crush. Alright then. What's crazy about Astro Crush is that it hits Aquaman two times. Okay, it is, yeah, it is kind of hard to avoid that. It's kind of insane how this weapon works against him. He literally can't do shit. Don't worry, I plan to do a Buster only run against all the bosses in the future just to kind of like show you guys what they can actually do. You know, I thought I'd die, but I guess I didn't. And now we get... Water balloon. Now what Water Balloon does is it fires like a small uh, blob of water that just goes fast out forward and it just hits. I mean, there's not much else to explain about it. Alright, um... Okay, I'm gonna save right here. Got more bolts. I don't think I have enough to buy anything, though. I think I only picked up, like, two or three, so... But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.